So what's up guys? We're back at it again with another one. I forgot to start recording on this one, so sorry for the haunted guys, but yeah, we started already. As you can see here, we are replacing this wonderful 2001 Honda Accord motor. And basically, it's me. Hold up, I gotta get, I gotta get my cameo to my main man right here. Hold up, he's trying to hide. Woody. What's up? So, yeah, look at him. We all been hard at work and we forgot to record. But yeah, basically we pulled the battery out, took off the header. Um, we're about to take off whatever else off this motor and give it a yank this out of here tonight. So I'm gonna try to keep try to keep recording of this. Like I said, my bad. I forgot that to do do a proper reduction and all that wonderful stuff. But if you know then you know this is the vehicle you've seen in previous videos before this that I did like a little next up so yeah I'm now finally getting this done enough talking let's do this several bad puns later so I haven't been recording on this car because I've just been trying to hammer it out guys but for the most part um, we picked back up on it on Friday me Brenton and Woody we started working on this car and started um, hammering this thing out we are basically at the point where all we got to do now is take off the back engine mount the passenger side engine mount and the driver's side engine mount because the front engine mount is out and we should be good as gold um oh that's right and unbolted from the transmission um we already took the flywheel bolts and took them out last night too while we was down there on the ground so me and Woody kind of, I spent it and he t took the bolts out. So that was done. Um, like I said, it's about to get ready to come out. And then from there, I got to figure out a way to re take this motor and um, bring this other motor and put it on in. So, yeah, that's where we at right now. We basically are out right here. Get ready to take this bad boy out. What we're going to need... Well, I don't know if you saw the loud clip or the video that I possibly put in here, but we basically have power steering, alternator, and um, the uh, AC uh, AC component was down on the bottom there. So we basically had all that in front of this. Uh, we had the manifold, the down pipe right there, holds to the manifold. Um, like I said. It's basically this engine bracket. It's another one in the back there, right there, underneath the manifold. And it's basically one right here on the side that we're gonna need to have to take out and base this motor is ready to go. But before I do that, I will have to go down here and unbolt this transmission from the motor. So, and I gotta make sure all my electrical components are unbolted, like, as you can see right here, this one is not um, not detached because I don't want nothing to go when this motor goes when it's time to take it out. So, yeah, all in all, it's becoming a fun factor. I guess I get you guys started, let y'all know what I'm going to do. My game plan for me to tackle this thing to get down there for the transmission bolts, I'm either going to remove this... Um, well, to me it would be a coil pack, but it's called something else. Maybe I'll put it down on the bottom description. But I gotta remove this so I can get to all the bolts clearly. And I can see what I'm doing. Um, and it should be probably about, maybe, maybe about six bolts going around this transmission. And, um, there's one right here. Like I said, there's one right over by the spark plug right down the side. So yeah, it's about like probably like six transmission bolts. Um, just detach that from the motor and prop something up beneath the transmission, and we should be good to go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, have to remove. I guess this is a the starter. Yeah, the starter right here on this transmission. So I'm gonna try to leave that intact and leave that alone. But I'm definitely gonna remove this because I think that's gonna be in my way. I'm just gonna try to get this thing down at the bare block. We was last night going to remove all this on the back, but I believe I we should be cool with that. Just trying to take it out of here is going to be the 
may be the problem. Just trying to figure out how we're going to do that. But other than that, we should be good. All right, guys. So basically, I went ahead and took off this wonderful, I believe, coil pack. This coil pack. This coil pack for the Hondas. Took that off so you should be able to get to these wonderful bolts like I was telling you about. It's a bolt there. Plus, it was a connection right there. Um... This clamp holes, which I'm getting ready to get off now, and this should be just about be able to be good. I'm am noticing this whole another core pack line. I guess that's for my injectors, so I'm gonna have to just detach that. And um, other sen any other sensors that's on this, so I want to detach all that off of there. We went ahead and got the motor from my parents' house. So, for the most part, we are set. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So, thanks to Brenton. Still waiting for my boy Woody, but we about to tear this bad boy out now. I think I just gotta take off the fuel rail and I should be done. So we got the motor out, took off the whole backside. We were trying to take off this whole thing, but we decided to work around it. So yeah, ready to come on out. And then they gonna talk about me like a dog right Why such a dickhead, you fame whores? Uh-oh. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nobody caught. Oh, no. So now the engine's out. And this should be good. It's been a good night. But for the old one, and that's the one that's going to be going. So, we talk to the crew, I guess. We will wrap this up and pick up tomorrow or put it in tonight. So, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. I made it back home and whatnot. So, what we basically going to pick up from when we took out the motor out of the car and going to put it in the other motor. So, we're going to transfer some things over. But, um, other than that, guys, you guys take care. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. I forgot to tell you guys that. Hit that thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Hopefully, I guess it was all right. I mean, we found out on the back end side of the transmission too that there was no other two other bolt. It was just a dial pin that was holding everything in. But for the most part, it is out of the car. That's all that matters. Tomorrow, I can go ahead and finish up transferring some things off of it, taking some other things off it, put some other new things on it. So. Peace.